Now in his first reaction after being granted bail, BJP MLA Virupakshapa dismisses the corruption charges against him, claims the cash seized during the raids are from his family business and he can prove it. Let's listen in to the BJP MLA who's been accused of corruption right ahead of the Karnataka elections. And while the BJP MLA is saying that he's innocent, the Advocates Association of Bengaluru has written to the Chief Justice of India against taking of Madal Virupaksha's anticipatory bail application for disposal on top prior priority by the Karnataka High Court. Now, the association has said that this is indicative of VVIP treatment. That's the piece of break news that's coming in, saying the high priority on which his anticipatory bail plea was taken up by the Karnataka High Court, this reeks of VVIP politics. That's the pitch coming in from the Advocates Association of Bengaluru. I'm joined by my colleague uh, Ritu on the phone. Hi, Ritu, so more trouble uh, for the BJP government in Karnataka. It continues to face more and more heat when it comes to uh, this entire fiasco of the bribe gate uh, case that continues to kind of taint its image right ahead of the elections. Very true. You see, ahead of the elections, there you see a big blow to the BJP government here in the Karnataka because of the kind of bribe gate uh, uh, incident that has now come into the light. You see, the opposition one is not sparing the uh, ruling party, uh, but now on the other hand, the more pressure being mounted from the association in as well there again, where they are completely alleging that there is no transparent investigation that is taking place. While in the earlier uh, incidents, we have seen that, you know, there's never been this kind of uh, uh, interest in fact, the statements coming out from the Karnataka High Court and moreover, this kind of judgment as well. But this is again uh, in the yet another incident that uh, uh, it, it can be clearly seen that it, there's no uh, fair uh, investigation that is uh, actually taking place in this whole matter. Because usually when you see this kind of uh, uh, incidents come out, the arrest is actually being made immediately. Lookout circular are actually been uh, issued very immediately there. Again, so there has been a constant uh, strict actions that have been observed in the past as well. But meanwhile, here in this incident, nothing has taken place, no matter what the MLA has to uh, claim, in fact, because he's, of course, gone on to say that the kind of amount that has been actually recovered during the seize from the uh, uh, the, the Lokayukta officials, in fact, so that's the amount that has always been there at his place because the kind of business that actually he undertakes just not uh, in, uh, at his house, but also in the multiple houses as well who do that Areca net uh, a business, in fact. So that's what he has gone on to claim. But however, this MLA coming out after a long time and giving this statement has also raised a lot of questions against the BJP government that what exactly is taking place on. On the other hand, the opposition also has not spared the BJP government and CM Basuraj Boma, especially asking him for the uh, to tender his resignation as well, because what more proof do you exactly need is what the opposition is also saying. Well, there are only central agencies that are actually being made uh, to go on and raid the houses of the opposition parties and why not uh, actions that are why not there is no action against the uh, BJP leader so that is all that the kind of political war of words that has erupted with this whole case coming into the light now right thank you Ritu for getting us that piece of breaking news but shift